You need a needle. Which one should you use? Should you run to the store? Not today. I've got a tip for you. Hi, I'm Linda and this is Technical Tidbits. I'm here with tips and techniques to help you be a better maker. So this is what happened to me. I was sewing this embroidery panel onto the bag. I lost the needle that I had been working with. So I picked up a different needle, threaded it, and all of a sudden, the project became so much easier. With the second needle, I was able to glide through these heavy fabrics with ease. That got me thinking, there's got to be a better needle for every project that I do. And if you have arthritis or carpal tunnel, knowing what that better needle is for your job is going to help you a lot. Okay, let's look at a typical stash of needles. This is probably something that you have as well. Um, needles from different sizes and all over the place here. So let's compare. What have we got? There are needles that are very skinny, that are larger in size, but also in length as well. Then you have the short needles, needles with bigger eyes or sh smaller eyes. You even have the quick threading needles and the gigantic needles, <laughs> even curved needles. So where do we start? So Laura Wasilowski came up with this great pocket guide. You don't need to be an expert. You just need a guide to show you the differences in your needles. And this is how it works. Let's take a look. First off, all of your needles are shown at 100% the actual size. Inside, they are grouped according to well, how they are used. For instance, you have the crewel and embroidery, milliners, quiltings, the easy threaders, the chenille needles, the beading needles, and so on. Furthermore, you have a quick and easy description. Using for hand embroidery, general purpose needles. Used for hat making, basting, gathering, decorative stitching, and so on. Then it goes into detail about the different elements of the needles. A medium eye, an eye wider than the shaft, for instance, or a round eye, a medium length needle, um, a sharp point, for instance, um, a slotted eye. So you can match up your needles by the description or by the picture that's given. So let's say I have an applique project and I want to know if I have the right needle in my stash. Well, I've got these three needles. As you can see, I've laid them next to the applique photo. And what I'm looking for is a needle that's short in length and thin, has a round eye, a sharp point, and comes in three, four, three sizes, four sizes. Oh, right off the bat, I can see here that this needle is a cruel and embroidery needle because it says here it comes in various lengths, but that the medium eye, which that has, has an eye wider than the shaft, and I can see that. I hope you can too. Um, so I'm going to, by process of elimination, take this one away. Now I have two left, and they both have round eyes. However, this one is shorter and thinner, and I believe this is the needle I'm looking for. And sure enough, I can tell by the photo that that is an applique needle. So, perfect. With the help of this guide, 
I found the needle that I need for my project. It was in my stash all along and I don't need to go to the store. So don't go out and buy more needles. Get a guide. Identify the ones you own. Hey, listen, leave your comments, questions, any of your needle woes down below. And this is Linda signing off from Technical Tidbits. And finish those projects. <laughs> <laughs>